What is up everyone, we're back with another video and this time it's a little bit different. We're gonna go and meet a friend of mine that I haven't met yet. Uh, gonna do a bit of a collaboration. He goes by the name of LS Results. Um, I've been following this guy on uh, Snapchat and also Instagram for the last couple of months and I said I definitely have to go up and meet him. He's across the border, he's up by Ardbo. So we're gonna check out his gym, check out the facilities and I'm gonna get a bit of a workout done. I'm gonna basically tell him he is a well-known personal trainer in uh, Ulster, all across Ulster, and has been up for many awards. So I'm gonna see how this goes. Uh, got a good meal into me, got plenty of carbs into me for this session. He's going to basically be my personal trainer for today and really put my body to the test and see what I can come up with. So we'll see you in the next one. Three, and four, and 
Extend is, is uh, the backs of his knees, so because you know, I seen an injury there of uh, a friend of mine there not too long ago, um, playing for Colin Fena in the Tyrone um, final. There, he ex he he hyperextended his leg and the whole thing shot out, you know, and he's out for the rest of the year. So just the same thing can happen in the gym, especially GA players. Don't be hyperextending your legs, you know, while squatting or or whatever. Don't hyperextend. Just you know, I say. Relax, you need to relax, and then don't do that. Just come like that, come like that, come like that. Just a wee tip, don't paper extend, alright? 14. Good thing you're doing this while I try and just touch your hamstrings, right? Yeah, it makes them, makes them think better. So it's main to muscle, alright? That's his job. When I touch them, he knows to keep them tight. Even going down, he must keep them tight and down. And up, down, and up. Good. Keep going. What number are we on there? 28, good. 29, 30, control, good, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 29, oh, keep you, keep you counting, I'm going to go, so what I'm basically doing is here, I'm on both feet, alright, if I do one foot, I'm going to have one foot to the other ones, so, overwork it, so one, two of them, Ten. Come on, give me it all. Up and hold. Hold, up and hold. Ten. Then pull your toes up in the air. Shoes. Pull your toes into your shoes. Eight. Seven. Six. Hold up in your lap. Five. Four. Three. Pull your toes. Two. And one. And relax. Good. What about there? Uh, I'll explain more. Is you see people there that uh, even especially in the Smith machine, I've seen it happening. Someone. Is getting uh, spotted, but you'll see a PT at one side of the bar pushing. I guess, and you're actually putting, you're actually taking a weight off the side. And that means you're putting weight on the other side. You're putting, you know, add a weight onto that one side of the body. That becomes a, a you know, a disc popping, um, hamstring popping, and glute. You'll know, turn something. So always make sure when you're spotting. You know, I use the two feet there. All right. So you now, whenever he was at the first side, he was coming out. I was stopping him on one side. I wasn't pushing them, alright? So, just want to be a spot with somebody, make sure you're dead center and you're putting the same uh, pressure on both sides. Just don't go one side, but I've seen that happening, you know, and it, it can cause injury. Right, we're going to go next door here. I'm going to go to 100 kgs on his back. Um, he 
He's going to do 20 reps, all right? But I'm going to add a wee bit of uh, resistance band. So he's not taking all the weight, all right? But he's definitely going to be taking it up. We're going down, he's going to be, you know, some bit's going to, the load's going to be coming off, but he's going to be firing it up. So you think of a GA player getting up the jumper of all, all right? And he hasn't got that on his back. All right, he's going to jump higher, you know what I mean? Same thing with this here, with the prowler. You know, I had him tracking back on the prowler, as if it was a corner back, corner forward, looking out around him. And then, whenever he got there, he assessed the situation, then he wanted the ball, then he went, all right? And he's using the prowler. Why is the prowler wasn't there? Players going to be far faster, far quicker. But the biggest fucking thing that happens here in, uh, I say, with GA clubs, all around, you know, is they put their players in and they get them to do a off-season, we call it off-season. I don't believe in an off-season. You should be ready off-season around, right? So the reason being is, they say this off-season, the guys come into the gym and spend, uh, uh, spend three months in the gym, next thing they come out and they start playing football, and then they wonder why they're not strong anymore because they stop going to the gym. Look, the gym's the exact same as a, a, a going to the gym's the exact same as getting a tan holidays. You get a tan, at the moment you go to you go to the tan and beds to tap it up. Same thing, you get strong over the winter, you go to the gym once a week and tap it up. All you have to do is tap it up. Wait, you keep, keep them muscles alive, keep them alive, keep them alive. And then, you know, back out a wee bit harder in the, the winter time. So we're going to go next door here and uh, get this man warning you. Many of you in there on, uh, on race lay stage. Uh, the AIDS is the LS results, alright, we're just in the studio in the, the pit load of machine area, so I have this place open here, but uh, seven years, it was a year long project, getting the equipment and all shipped in and it broke down six years in uh, a few weeks time. Uh, I have had uh, two other gyms, I won them in Derry, in uh, credit to given, the was a franchise, so the, um, the actual uh, the franchise has run out contract there, so they're, uh, I wish them all the best. The guys are going to uh, do their own thing now. Uh, the one at Cookstown I have is about four weeks away from planning. The pass will be open now soon. Uh, there's talks of Belfast, there's talks of uh, the, the Coal Island and Gannett area. There's a lot of, lot, lot of interest in the, in the brand, you know, but it's say, Gyms do suffer on the, the rents and, and, and rates. You know, some people bang slap into a gym, open a gym, and then you know, six months in they realise you know, that the, uh, the rates and rent are very hard to cover. So it's kind of a thing that I have now with LS. I make sure that rent rates are, are low. Uh, I just let this man in. Right, I make sure they're, they're, they're low as possible, they're affordable, and you keep your membership down. We keep our membership in around between 15 and 20 pounds a month. For facilities, I guess, here, it's, it's, it's a good deal. So, uh, this is just the LS results, and you're all welcome anytime to drop in for a session, and hopefully, maybe coming to town in the years in the future. Now, I'm going to bring this man in now. He's uh, got his uh, shorts on now. Um, I think he's took his knickers off, so he's got his shorts on. So, we're going we're gonna to now treat him like a man. Alright, so, come on ahead.
I'm just on the way home now from LS Results. It was absolutely brilliant to get trained with Ryan. Anybody that wants to check up any social medias, I'll put it all down below. We've got some cool pictures as well. He's a really cool dude and a lot learned a lot of experience from him. Regarding the training side of it, I got through the start of it and I got to the squats. I was squatting 100 kg, which I never do. Although I was using the resistance band to help me up, I went for 20 reps and honestly, I never train endurance. I always train um, hypertrophy training. I've never went over 15 reps in my life. So this was all completely new to all my muscles and realistically, I couldn't do any more. I ran, ran straight in the toilet and absolutely puked my uh, ring up after doing the squats. I think I'd done the three sets and then I'd done a drop set. It's all in the video. It was just brutal. What I just want to say is regarding the training side of things i have a lot more to give and i think today has really brought me down to earth regarding my training i'm not doing what i really want to do i'm really focusing on the exact same movements every single week i'm going in and doing the same training i'm working six sets in total six days a week you need to change your training up regarding endurance hypertrophy strength when's the time to do it so this really gave me a good open mind and endurance training and how it can really really help in GEA training because that's really what I'm trying to get to people how to train in the gym for GEA and what to do and how many reps and how many sets so that video was cut short because I basically couldn't take any more because it was so new to my body and I had to just get sick and I really wish I got me puking on the video then straight after the workout I went to the pub in Ardbo it's Brian McGuigan's pub. Most of you guys probably know him from playing for Tyrone. So this month is November. This is a new month for the giveaway. Last year, last month was Rory Baggin. I showed that on Instagram. This time I'm going to show the Brian McGuigan. I had a chat with him. I met up with him. I got a lovely, lovely t-shirt. I'm going to show you his now. And this is something that will absolutely hit off because it's won all Ireland's and I'm gonna put it on my Instagram if you don't have my Instagram go over and follow and be in the champs with winning just follow the simple steps so now I'm on the way back home to Monaghan and having such a great experience today up in LS I'm gonna put all the photos on Instagram all the videos I can I can't say a bad word about today's experience so if you've liked this video it's something different it's a bit of a collaboration i want to meet as many people in the fitness industry that i look up to that give me so much more advice i do really really want to grow as much as i can and i need your help to help me grow and help us as a community ga footballers on youtube grow as much as possible so thanks for watching hit the like button hit the dislike button if you didn't like it and subscribe if you're brand new and you stumble upon this video through my other social medias rice is out of here thanks